Hi, this is a follow-up to my previous video about why the Commodore 1541 disk drive was so slow. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. In that video, I did some simple timings of loading a 15K sequential file from a Commodore 2040 disk drive, 2031 disk drive, 1540, and 1541. I did that using a simple basic program I wrote that I knew at the time was inefficient, but what I thought was, I'm not trying to showcase peak performance of these disk drives, I just wanted to show their speeds relative to each other, so I didn't think it mattered. In hindsight, that was, that was a mistake. For one thing, I think people got the wrong impression about how slow the 1541 was, and really the other drives. Uh, the 1541 slow, but it's not as slow as I showed in that video. That was all on me. So in the video, I said I would do a follow-up maybe and do some actual, like, reliable benchmarking that shows more what these drives are capable of. That's the purpose of this video. So, same drives, uh, but this time I'm going to do more reliable benchmarking, and I'll explain what that is in the video. Uh, one thing to note, this isn't a generic benchmarking video. I'm not going after benchmarking every disk drive Commodore ever made, and I'm also not going to show a bunch of different fast loaders for the C64. There is a guy on the internet who has done a ton of benchmarks and has them on his website. The URL's up here for you to see, so go check that out. Uh, for now, enjoy the video. I found this great benchmarking tool I already mentioned on Obliterator 918's webpage, but I can't use this because it only runs on the C64. I also found this one by Silver Dream, which looks extremely well done, but it also only runs on a C64. Then I decided I'd just write my own. I just need to figure out how to create a 15k PRG file and then write assembly code to set up and call the kernel load routine at FFD5. There's not a lot of code involved, so that should have been simple, except the setup for the kernel load routine is different on the PET than for the VIC-20 and C64. I was reading Programming the Pet slash CBM by Rayto West to see how to set it up when I saw this little blurb. That's when it hit me. Instead of writing my own code, I can use a machine language monitor to do everything I need. I'll explain as I go. The loud noise you hear is the fan in the 2040. I could edit that out, but I don't want you to miss any of this vintage disk drive goodness. The testing methodology I'll use in this video will be much more realistic. I'm going to start with a PET 2001-32N and a 2040 disk drive. I'll use the built-in machine language monitor to save a 15K chunk of memory, everything from hex 2000 to hex 5C00. Then I can use the built-in machine language monitor to load that back. That will use the standard load kernel routine for loading, so no time spent updating basic pointers or anything. The 2040 disk drive loaded a 15K file in just around 9 seconds. In the previous video, this was over 2 minutes. That's how egregious my basic program was. Ugh. Uh, the directory shows the file takes up 61 blocks. At 256 bytes per block, that's 15K. On to the 2031. I'll use the disk I created on the 2040 for every test in the video. Fifteen point four two seconds on the twenty thirty one disk drive. My previous video clocked it at two and a half minutes. 
VIC-20 with 1540 disk drive. Again, same disk. The 2040, 2031, 1540, and 1541 are mostly compatible. That mostly is a topic for a whole other video someday. You can see I'm running with a memory expansion here, but I have to if I want to load 15K into memory. Now I'll load the machine language monitor and do the same load test. Thirty-four seconds compared to over four minutes in the previous video. The star of the video, Commodore 64 with 1541 disk drive. Same deal here, this time I'm running Hesmon as my machine language monitor if you're wondering why that's not the familiar C64 boot screen. Right around 41 seconds compared to four and a half minutes in the previous video. Last one, Commodore 64 with a 1541 disk drive with Skiles Electric Works 1541 flash fast loader installed. This one surprised me, 13.91 seconds. The serial 1541 disk drive with 1541 flash installed loaded a 15K file faster than a parallel 2031 disk drive. Okay, let's wrap it up here. What did we learn? Well, reading a sequential file one byte at a time from a basic program is not an effective benchmark for measuring disk drive performance. It was so bad, in fact, that it resulted in an incorrect conclusion in the previous video. 1541 flash was actually faster in this video than the 2031 disk drive, whereas in the last video, it was not. I hope you enjoyed this brief follow-up. I'll see you next time. Hi, this is a follow-up to my last video about why the Commodore 1541 disk drive is so slow. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. In the video, I bit... Hi, this is a follow-up to the... Really efficient basic program I wrote. Now... <coughs> <coughs> God bless. And his your the URL's up on the screen right now, so you can go check the video that <clears throat>